Welcome back, everyone. This is El Morte with El Morte's Judgment, uh, playing Let's Play G.I. Joe the Atlantis Factor uh, Movie 6 here. Uh, we left off. I was just finishing up this stage. So let's go ahead and continue. We're just about to actually kick the shit out of Cobra Commander once again. If I can keep from jumping into pools of lava. And punching mines in the f if they had a face. Hurry, hurry, hurry. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, enough of this shit. Just like a good American, things get tough. Pull out a gun. Uh, let's see what Wetsuit wants to do here. Oh, this guy. He's not really tough. He's just basically a combination of Cinder Block and uh, the Cyclops guy from earlier. Nice thing is, though, is his pattern's much faster, so you can just hurry up and just kick him in the ass a few times there. He goes down pretty quick. Kick him in his rocket pack. Yeah, and there's Cobra Commander. So naturally we need to select our hero. And I'm going to go ahead and fuel up on hit points here. Cobra Commander is really easy. He's got a very, very predictable pattern that you can just... rock him with bullets for the good majority of the battle. I think once I've even beat him by just doing a roundhouse kicks. Yep, those are gonna come down at me here. Now mind you, it's been a while since I've uh, naturally fought him anyway, so... But I've already got him most of the way down here, and might as well make use out of my last radio, because I'm not going to get any special awards at the end of the game for having any left over. That's what I was talking about. I can just sit here and fire at him all day, and as long as I'm right in this position, I don't get hit by pretty much anything. But I still got a boatload of ammo. And there we go. Cobra Commander has ate my lead. And we get a nice little victory scene where we nuke Atlantis. who apparently had a thing for snakes too and that's all it takes to uh, drop it back into the ocean my question is if we had a laser like that why weren't we just pounding on his force field to begin with but then again that's trying to bring logic into a game based off a of toy line so maybe that's asking a little much but we are greeted by a good majority of the cast that I didn't bother to go pick up. Uh, I, I showed you probably one of the fastest ways that you can uh, play through the game. Now, a speedrunner, they would have they wouldn't have even bothered with trying to level up the characters. They would have just gone flying through the game to get right straight to uh, Cobra Commander. They're also a lot better at this game than I am. So, well, we get to enjoy. Uh, this very, very long, long, long victory scene with everybody's names on it. Good old Stalker there. What a name, Stalker. Ah, uh, our good friend Spirit. Now, now, I couldn't have completed this mission without him, so he, he's definitely worthwhile. Uh, these other guys I could 
pretty much care less. Uh, Gung Ho, I really didn't need the extra use, so I had about another 200 some rounds of ammo, so he's about as pretty useless unless you run around doing nothing with guns. Uh, now, Big Bear here, he's actually really useful if you die a lot. He'll bring back one of your characters now uh, to be continued, but it never actually happened. And so much for my high score it kicks you right back to the beginning of the game. As you can tell, this is a pretty simple game, a lot of fun to play. And um, just go ahead and leave your uh, comments on uh, my YouTube as well as uh, checking out my uh, my review blog, uh, El Morte's Judgment, uh, dot, um, at uh, www.elmorte.blogspot.com. Uh, this is El Morte signing out, and uh, catch us next time when we do uh, yet another uh, vintage video game Let's Play.